Hi everyone, I am coming on and I am making pot roast from scratch and I'm doing it my way. So what I did already is I already peeled potatoes and now I'm just cutting them up, them up in bite size. So I'm just doing them. I wish I could get my other computer back, my laptop, but I don't know if my brother fixed it or what's going on with it. So I just did some rustic potatoes, uh, peeled them, I maybe got about eight of them just peeling them and cutting them in bite size. That's all I basically am doing. That's a little big. And I'm putting them on the side so at least I can show you guys like what vegetables I got that I'm cutting up. I just want to get the vegetables all cut up and everything. Oops. So I'm going to cut up these potatoes. I'm going to cut up the rest of the vegetables. Um, I can actually like tell you what I have. I have ones here. I have baby carrots, which I'll probably cut in half. Um, I got celery. Oh, they didn't have the ones I was looking for. Okay, but they had this kind of celery. I was looking for ones that was already pre-cut and just good enough. Um, let me get the rest of this stuff and I'll be right back and I can show you. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was... Uh, stop recording. Alright, I'm looking. Okay, I cut up the carrots and I put cut up one bell pepper and like five stalks of celery. That's what I did. And right now I'm cutting up the white onion. And then I also have uh, mushrooms I'm going to put in there. So I have that. And I'm going to fry up this, put some seasoning on it, fry it up, just get a little browned on the edges, and then throw it in. That's what I'm going to do. I'll be right back because there's other ingredients I'm going to add to this. But let me get all the vegetables and the meat on the stove and I'll come back. Okay, I got my meat in there frying. I just put salt and pepper on it. I just want to brown it up a little bit. So. Okay, and the other ingredients I want to get is I'm putting this in here. I'm going to put one can of cream and mushroom soup. And yes, as I go over them, take a moment to my thing. Um, where's the other things? Where are they? There's one more over right here. I'm thinking about either putting a, I'm going to, diced tomatoes and green chilies in it. I wish I had a jalapeno, but they were bad, so I had to throw them away. So I'm putting that in there. Also, I'm putting in a um, box of beef broth. Yes, you can tell I shop at Walmart. Uh, I'm trying to think like what else I should throw in here because I kind of want to make oh duh this is that's not it that's not it okay and I also got a packet of beef stew seasoning oops almost dropped in my garbage I think I felt the floor did you see that flicker okay I think I'm gonna let you go for a minute I cooked it up as you know much as I can for it to be seared I'm thinking that it'll cook through as it cooks overnight and everything. All right, I got all my vegetables. I'm going to throw those in there without this plate breaking on me. Okay, those are all in. Then I'm going to throw my potatoes in there. Oh, God, this is going to be hard. Okay. I'm going to have to stick you over here. I need two hands. Oh, good. That's good enough. Just kitty when you want. Then I got my... Mushrooms. What I do is I pick kind of like the stem off. I usually pick the stem off. Yeah, these need to be cleaned. Okay, this didn't take forever, so I'll be back. Okay, as you see, I opened up everything. So I'm going to dump in this. That's the diced tomatoes and green chilies. I'm going to dump in my mushroom soup. Sorry if the phone's shaking. Okay, give me a second. got to get this out. <sighs> so I don't spill it. Okay, and then I'm going to open up this. It's kind of hard doing this one-handed. Pour this in here. I probably need some water. 
Should have got two of these. My neighbor was helping me make this because I've never made this before. This will be fun mixing because it's kind of much. Yeah, I'm going to need a little bit of water. Let me put my season seasoning packet in there. And I can mix it all up as I go, too. <coughs> all right. Um, I don't want you to see my messy sink. Okay, I added a little bit of water. Where's my spatula at? Okay, now I'm going to mix this up without making a mess. And I'm probably going to put this on low. I hope this comes out good. I really hope this does. An idea I got from this is because my son, he was at his aunt's house. Well, actually my aunt's house, but... Um, anyways, so she, I called him up one day to see how he was doing. He was there for spring break. Called him up to see how he was doing and stuff. I got practical well mixed. And I was like, what are you eating? She goes, oh, well, he said, I mean, beef stew. I'm like, hey, that's from scratch, right? They're like, yeah. I'm like, okay, cool. So here I am making it because it sounded good and I've never made it before and I want to try it. Okay, all the seasonings mixed up, but in my mind, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Um, I don't know what I'm forgetting, but I'm going to leave it as is. And I'm going to put it in my on my crock pot. My crock pot's plugged in. And it's already heated up. I didn't know it was. But yeah, all right. I hope I, um, I'll probably come back tomorrow for the finished product and show you. Okay. See ya. Jax's first time painting. Here, hold on. You don't need that much paint to see. Move this. Put this over here. Hold on. Move your hand. There you go. So you got more room. There you go. Hey, Jax, can I show you a trick? Can I show you a trick? No. You and your circles. Spot of the paper, but like right over here. Should do here too. Why not? Uh -huh. I got it. What do you keep going in circles for? Here, you move this over here so you don't spill it on yourself. And then he moves it closer. <laughs> Goofy. You can do your line. All right. Okay, Jack. Good job with your lines. In your circles. Okay. Hey, all my friends are working so hard at painting. Good job, Jackson. I see you're painting your green. Do we paint the white paper with the pink paint as well? And, and if you want, if you want to, um, Hi. color like the boys Hi. and girls here, they have. Hi, ooh, I almost dropped my phone. Hi, everybody. I'm coming on to tell you about my um. I keep calling beef stew. I kept calling it like pot roast. Um, it is really good. Every me and my husband's only ones eating on it. I mean, I knew my kids were not gonna eat it. Um, but it's really good. We are still eating it, and today's Friday, so. 
I made this on what day would I make this on? Wednesday, and we're still eating it, and we still got like a little bit left. It's not much. Probably gone by today, but it's really good. Here, I'll show you what it looks like. To me, excuse me. To me, it's not thick. The liquid isn't. And yes, I'm using a spork. It's not thick. This is like my third bowl of this. Of today. This is my second bowl sitting here for dinner eating it. I probably have one more too. But the meat came out tender. I mean, the seasoning's perfect. I mean, it is really good. I mean, it is really good. So I've been eating on this. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. See you guys later.